Hey friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. If you're new here, I'd love for you to stick around here at the Cove. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload new content. So you guys, I know I'm behind on some videos, but I've been setting up these two planners um, to help me function well in 2020. I did a flip through of this uh, Philofax Personal Richmond on my Instagram stories. I'll do another one here, but today I wanted to show you guys this planner um, and just do a quick flip through of this. I know I have a broken nail, but I'm just been busy and I will <laughs> tend to that later. So I got this planner from Target back in November, I believe. And I said I would give A5 Rings a try again. I was not persuaded. <laughs> but um, I think Elaine Michelle had one that she had purchased from Target. And I was like, oh, that was the first planner that I used when I started planning. was an A5 Recollections from Michaels. And then I started seeing the TNs. I absolutely fell in love with TNs. Thought that's where I would be probably for the rest of my planning career, but I decided to give this a go. I was actually going to take it back because I felt like $35 was just too much, but um, I waited after the 30 days never to get back, and I was just like, okay, let me find a use for it. So this is my business planner. Um, it is, I don't know, this is probably faux leather, um, black and white. This is what it looks like. Got a little glitter here on it. And it's pretty thick, as you can see from the spine. Um, so far, this is all that I have. Um, I wanted to add just a little bit more, but I've already invested a lot of money into this. And I'll probably do some more um, kind of inserts for myself. So the first thing here is this Ollie clip. I love these clips. I ordered a bunch of them, and I just absolutely love them. Um, I said I would do a giveaway in my Facebook group. I'll try to remember to link my Facebook group below. I just started it. Um, over there, you'll learn about new um, things in my shop. We'll do some planner talk and, you know, show me your planner and pages and all that great stuff. But let's get into this. So the first thing I have over here, this whole thing I set up um, pretty much using cloth and paper or digital dash, and that's about it. So over here, let me make sure y'all can see. I have this little chandelier die cut I created myself. This Louis Vuitton planner clip I did myself. It was in a A5 um, TN of mine, and I just took it out. And then these um, sticky tabs come from cloth and paper. I separated and put some in my personal here. This is another die cut that I got, um, that I just, I think I downloaded this off of Pinterest more than likely, and then just turned it into a die cut. Um, these little journaling cards, monthly journaling cards, were a freebie, freebie from cloth and paper. Here's another die cut that I created. And then here are some sticky notes from cloth and paper. I've been trying to choose my word for the year and I actually have to put it down because I chose it, but when I was thinking about it, I put it here in the personal. So let's see what else I have in here. Um, here I made a dashboard for my personal using a simply gilded bow and some laminating paper, but I stuck it in here because to me it was a little off and I really just didn't want to get rid of the bow. But that's all that I have there in the pocket. Again, this is like my minimal planner. And so it's very kind of bleak. But if you're into minimal planning, maybe it's planning too much for you. But also I added some sticky notes here for things I need to write down. And this was actually over there, but it lost its stickiness. So I just stuck it there. And then this planner came with this zip pocket, which is kind of what sold me on it because I love a good zip pocket. And then I have these um, functional dots and um, shapes from cloth and paper. Then I have this from Digital Dash, which I'm thinking about taking out and just doing a basic black insert here. And then this came with the planner, and it was just to let you know who the planner belongs to. 
So I just left that because I love old foiling. And then I have another Ollie clip here that takes me to my week. And then um, this was last week when I did my little minimum planning, got some things done. Again, this is my business planner. Like actually today is supposed to be design day. Um, so what I found that kind of works for me in my business planner is these sticky notes because um, sometimes I just don't get things done, but they're like almost too big to put in my days in my personal. So like that's on my list is to design kits so I can move this to today is Tuesday. I can move it to here because that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to make my YT schedule. And I kind of use this form with setting up my dinners, um, meal planning, basically, for my family. I'll go into that in more detail when I show you guys how I do that. And I like the fact that I can just move these around for different ways. That way, I don't just mess up the paper. But if something's kind of set in stone, like I know I needed to buy ink, um, which I did. Let me um, check that off. I need to make a schedule. I need to finish, you know, start the blog. I haven't done those things, but those are things that are priorities. So those can be written in, um, film some plan with me's and make my YT schedule. Those are just things that need to be done that does not need to be like switched around, but can be switched around. So here I made, took this from notes, um, make the YT schedule, put that on a sticky note so that I can move it around to the day that I decided because it was here and then now I can move it to Tuesday and make my schedule. So I really like that. And I just kind of plan as I go. I have a list of things I need to do, but these are pretty much them I do for the week. And then I'll just move the sticky note around. So I do like that. So we're only in the second week, so there's nothing else. And then these inserts came from cloth and paper. I got them undated because again, I was so unsure of me minimal planning because I tried it last year and I didn't really stick with it or barely did it. So I didn't want to get too many and get dates and then wouldn't be able to use them. But so far this year, so far so good, two weeks in and I'm, I'm doing it. So, and I'm actually loving it. And then this came from Digital Dash <coughs> as well, excuse me. And then here are my months. So here's where I'm going to plan out my videos for the month. Um, here are these little um, sticky notes. Well, not sticky notes, excuse me. These things here, <laughs> the little shape dots, um, they're transparent. This represents my Etsy paydays. So I have them linked and just put them there. That way I know that's what an Etsy payday is. And then again, I use a sticky note to kind of put in the days of what I'm supposed to do. Like here I wrote in film cash envelopes. I didn't do that. And then I, that's when I started kind of using these because I realized I'm just going to mess this whole page up. So I use these um, sticky notes to kind of put in what I'm supposed to do. So this Erin Condren, I need to move here because that's what I'm going to film today besides this. Um, yeah, minimalist uh, personal flip through. That was on Tuesday, but I'm doing the, what's the name? So I did that on yesterday on my Instagram, so I'm going to move that to another day. That way I can show you guys maybe tomorrow of my flip through of my personal um, film syncing fund. So I can just move these around. And that's what I love about these sticky tabs. I ordered some more, not from cloth and paper, but from AliExpress. So I'm waiting on those to come in because I really like these little tiny sticky notes. Okay. And then here I just moved the cash envelope because that's what I'm going to film that. So that's all for January so far. And I really want to fill this in with my um, video ideas because I want to have a full 30 days of ideas and stick to it and have a schedule. So I just don't be popping on at any time. And then this is the rest of the months. These came from cloth and paper and I actually love them. And then next we get into this dashboard here. I made out of this laminating paper. I put me a die cut here. And that goes into my, I need to actually make another dashboard here. That goes into my daily. So here, as you can see, January 1st, and I just got this undated as well because every day I'm not working on my business. So the days that I'm working on my business, I can put in 
my schedule. So this is a day that I had to work my regular job. Uh -huh. So I just put in work from here and then anything else after that I can fill in. And then this is what January 5th looked like. And then this was January 6th, which was yesterday, I believe. And so I always plan my coffee time, which is kind of like my meditation time. I did make it to the post office. I was supposed to design new kits. I will be designing new kits today, hopefully. And um, that's what I have. And so that's that. But I have plenty of these. I don't know why I got so many of these. I think that's just the way they came. And then... Next is another dashboard from Digital Dash. I'm not really filling it in this planner. I'm just going to go ahead and take it. I think she's cute. I'll just leave it. But I'm going to take her out soon, probably the next month, and just leave it real basic. And then here is my media content. Uh, let me make sure. Media content inserts. And I have more of these, but I took them out because once I got them, I was like, I don't know how to use these. And I try to look at the cloth and paper um, videos of how to use certain inserts. Um, that is so helpful to have that on YouTube to learn how to use their inserts. But this one I haven't found how to use. So I decided on my own how to use it. So what I did was, because here it says contact in collaboration with. So if I do a collaboration, I guess I'll put that. Um, it has due date up here. I don't use that. And then a content overview. I haven't figured out how to use that. But what I decided to do was to um, put in the date, the video, and the deliverables. It says deliverables. So actually, I put two arrows here to switch that around for the future. What I will do is put the task, which is to film, edit, and upload. And then the deliverables will be the cash envelope. So I'm going to put in the date that I'm supposed to film, edit, upload, or whatever. And then I'll put film, edit, upload, and then the actual video will go here and then project results not sure how to use that and then here it is on the back so i've only done one page of this so i had all the pages of this in here but again i just thought about it once i got it like this wasn't what i was supposed to do so again i can use this for instagram facebook um youtube as well and then here's a list of my shop ideas just on a sticky note and then this is my hourly insert. I made this dashboard on camera, actually, with you guys. And then I got this insert from Maddie Plans. I love, love, love. Um, I found out about her through Anika's Creative Plan. She posted it on Instagram one day. And I'm like, well, let me check it out. Oh, my God. I've been in love ever since. So thank you, Anika. And I just love her content. And she does um, videos for cloth and paper, which are so helpful. So... This is just a planning routine that she uses. I don't necessarily follow everything on here, but it's great to have to get ideas. So check it out. And then my next insert will be my hourly. I've used that. And at first I was like, I was going to use it for time blocking, like to set my date up so that I don't waste time. That is just like a thing of mine. I waste so much time. So I wanted to start time blocking to get the best use of my time. And especially in my business, because I feel as though I have the the Etsy shop is picked up. But sometimes I feel as though I'm not utilizing the time right. Like I'll pour all my time into making uh, my stickers or to filling orders that I don't have time to design the stickers. Or when I get off from work, I don't have time to feel the stickers. So I wanted to basically make a time blocking schedule of how my day will go. So I'll even include my work clients here. That way I can keep up with what I'm making. And then I know this is work or either I'll put a line through work or a line through coffee time of when I'm not going to do anything. And then here we are. We're on Tuesday so far, coffee and meditate. So I have to fill the rest of this in and I'll fill the rest of the weekend. I forgot the reason why I stopped here. I don't know. And then it's just a couple pages of that. And then this is a folder that came with the planner. I wish it was in black and white, but it has the little gold dots, which is fine because it's the flow of my thing, which is um, black and gold and white. And then it came with another insert, but let me show you. It came with this insert as well, but I felt like I wouldn't use that. I mean, I love gold, trust me, and I love shimmer, but I just felt like it would have been, this wasn't going to go with the flow of what I planned to do with it. And then, but I kept these because these are some things that I need, like me time, meetings, and it's just script, and it's not 
too overwhelming for me. And then it comes with this plastic board here. Um, I think that's just like a page lifter or um, divider to keep everything, you know, safe. I don't know what is all this stuff. And then it came with this notepad. I was going to take it out, but I left it because I'm a lister by heart and by nature. So um, I put down some of my Etsy shop goals and just things, little things I can jot down. So it's almost like a brain dump kind of for me. But I just found that I needed that. So that's it. Oh, and then this is the pen that I keep in here at the moment. This pen is from She Loves Planners. She's here on YouTube. She's on Instagram, as far as I know. And she has an Etsy shop. And so that's it of this planner. Um, again, I love this planner. She stays home. She really doesn't go out with me. Now, I have a meeting set up for tomorrow, so I may take her out the house tomorrow. She may get a little love, get some little air <laughs> tomorrow, but... So far, this is what I have. Again, I just, it's very minimal. And like I said, I even think that the digital dash is just too much for her because she's just to be um, very minimal, plain. I just wanted a black and white aesthetic for her. And um, I really didn't want too much color. So only have those two colorful dashboards. Yeah, those are the only two colorful dashboards I have because I wanted to keep her kind of minimal, but Oh, did I show you all this insert? This came from Cloth and Paper, and it says Boss. And because this is my um, business planner, I thought it was the perfect dashboard. Plus, all the other ones were sold out. And so, I definitely want to have this one in my planner. And I thought about moving it to the front here, which I may do. So, that's that in this planner. I hope you guys enjoyed this minimalist approach to my business planner. I think that's what I need and something that Shakisha said that made sense like when you're out and you're doing business you know you open up and you got all these stickers in it somebody gonna look like whose child been playing <laughs> you know but um I definitely wanted to keep this for business and even like I said it stays at home pretty much unless I am going to a meeting or whatever and I need to jot some things down or just you know, I just, again, wanted to try something kind of um, on the more simpler and minimalist approach because when I first started planning or even just planning prior to stickers, it was always minimal. It was just jot something down. And a lot of times I noticed towards the end of the year, I was just to the point where I was just jotting things down like um, in here. Let me show you. So this is what this looked like. But by the end of the year, starting in September, this is where I was at with just, I needed to jot my clients down. I didn't have time to decorate it. I wanted to, but I didn't have the time to. So I would put a sticker or two in there, but they were the black and white stickers. But this is what I was to. So I kind of didn't see this coming, as I said, on my Instagram of me going to minimal planning. But I still will be laying stickers. I still have planners just for that. But for business and kind of personal, it will be less stickers and i'll do a video on this as well all right i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching if again if you're new here hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell make sure that you share with your friends and let them see what we do here over on the cove so if you are interested in seeing more planner setups plan with me weekly spreads minimal planning budgeting <laughs> budgeting please hit that subscribe button. Again, I will see you in my next video. Bye.